So if you're anything like me, you've probably bought a Mac Pro. Why? Because they're reasonably priced machines with good performance, and no other reasons, of course. And once you're bored of the novelty of these machines, you'll probably end up wondering if you can put modern Mac OS on it. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Mac OS 10.11.6, or more well known as El Capitan, on an unsupported 1.1 or 2.1 Mac Pro. But before we begin, you're going to need a couple of things. Alrighty, so you're going to need an extra RAMs, Mac OS 10.11 compatible graphics card. For this I'll be using my GTX 770, which... GPU power cable adapters, link in the description. A Phillips head screwdriver. A 1.1 or 2.1 with Mac OS 10 Tiger or better, I'll be using Snow Leopard. Super Duper for your OS 10 version. And Harit K Mods is Mac OS 10.11.6 Mac Pro DMG. I'll links in the description as well. Okay, so first, put the Mac Pro on a table. No. No. Yes, finally. Now, add a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Yes, somewhere I have the wrong ones. Okay, now I'm guessing you successfully booted the computer. You did? Good for you. Okay, now launch Disk Utility. Make this one smaller, then make another one, give it a name, click Apply. This will be our target. Oh, and I should mention, if you're installing onto a different drive or SSD, do what I'd said before, but create one partition spanning the whole disk. Okay, now launch SuperDuper. Select the target partition or drive here, and navigate to the Mac Pro DMG you downloaded earlier. Keep in mind that all data on the target will be erased with the data that's in the image. Now that you're done copying the image, because Snow Leopard and Blow tends to not see El Capitan boot disks, or even versions newer than it is apparently, we're going to need to shut the computer down and then boot using the boot picker by holding Alt. After completing the setup your Mac screen, you might notice things to be a tad unoptimized. This is due to El Cap 10 not having drivers or texts for the stock graphics card. So in order to get things working right, we need to upgrade the GPU to a supported one. Because this is a 1.1 Mac Pro, upgrading is easy as long as you know where to put the stuff. So just follow my lead. Once you boot up the computer after having upgraded the graphics card and um, RAM to a supported one, you should now have a fully working install of Mac OS X El Capitan on an unsupported Mac Pro. But before you go too much further, it's a good idea to hide update 2018-004 
because installing it causes the computer to go into a boot loop and you'll have to re-image. So at this point you should have an entirely working install of El Capitan, which you can do anything you can do on a modern Mac except AirDrop, which small price to pay to be honest. If you need any more information on how to do anything else with one of these early Mac Pros, a good resource is Heroic Mods channel. There's a link in the description. So thanks for watching, link to the Discord server in the description, and catch you in the next one. Thank you.